Remember to subscribe and like my videos. Hey guys, Toybox here, and we have Aqua Beads. Over 1,200 beads, 12 bead colors. Make, spray, and they stay. Just add water. And this is the Ultimate Design Studio Aqua Beads. And it's the complete set. This combo includes a classic and jewel aqua beads. Also includes 10 decoration beads. Deluxe Bead Pin holds 12 different color beads. And the Deluxe Pin releases beads with a push. And this is the bead pin they're talking about. So it's really neat. You just push it and it spins so it releases it through there. We're going to show you how that works. And the design and make amazing bead art creations. And here's some of the creations that you can make with those. Over 1,200 beads, 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 beads. And here on the back, it talks about amazing bead art is easy to make with aqua beads. It tells the contents. So everything in our box here, it comes with all of that. And those are the jewels and the beads that are included in this kit. Very cool. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to open this up. Oh, down here. What's it say? Did you know? Just spray with water. No, no heat, no glue, no mess. And the deluxe bead pin holds 12 individual color beads. Additional downloadables at that website that it says there. And I think that's, what is that? A little that's frog? A frog. A little frog, little eyes, and little pink cheeks. <laughs> it's cute. Very cute. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to open this thing up. Okay. Like this video if you hate tape. Tape is no fun when opening cool aqua beads. <laughs> No fun. Play with it. Ooh, but those are the instructions that come with it and the patterns. I think these are the design patterns that it talks about. Very cool. So what do we think here? It looks pretty cool, huh? And it's kind of bumpity on top. I so guess you can this put is the beads in. Put the beads on. Okay. This is a to-go set and it has a little handle, so if you want to take Somewhere. You can carry it with you. Mm -hmm. and it has these little... So it unsnaps pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the water sprayer? Yeah. We'll get, let's get everything set up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sounds good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to show you how to fill our bead dispenser. And we have 30 beads. In, and it says just to put 30 in each compartment, no more than 30. So we counted out 30 here. And we're keeping our extra beads in the container so we don't lose them. And we can mix them all up, it's fine. Those are the ones we're not going to use yet. So here's our beads again. And what we do, turn it this way till it clicks. And this is our filler. And it snaps right on top and when you put this on top it pushes this white part back so you can fill up the beads in here but if this isn't on the beads won't fill up in here it'll go up inside this and you don't want them to go there so you got to have this on when you're filling beads so it snaps in place like that okay and then we take our beads and we can just dump them in there with our Dixie cup Here's all our beads. And what you do is you kind of shake them a little and they'll go in. OK, 
kind of give it a tap and it fills up. Okay, now you can pull that off the top. Ta-da! And now our bead filler with the orange is full. And the white, that little white piece, that little white piece popped back in place so none of the beads will fall out. So we have our white and our orange, and we're gonna do all of the colors that we have that we're gonna use for whatever we're gonna use. And you can decide which colors you want. We'll do them all like that. Sounds cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, here is our bead dispenser. All filled up, we have all our colors that we picked, and you can put every, whatever color you want in there. We put our extra beads and we decided to mix them up and just put them in here in a container so we can keep them organized. This is just how we do it. And you can have different containers for different colors. We just decided to mix all our beads in one container. And we can just pick them out as we want. Okay, now we have the layout tray and here's the design templates. And you pick out whichever one you want and you can put it, you put it into the back there's little grooves here, so we'll need to flip that over. There you go, and slide it in into the grooves, just like that. Okay. Make sure the, the side that's on, like, right here is white. Yeah, and then you flip it over. So the pattern's on this side. And it can sit up here on this, okay? And since this is the pattern we're going to make, then that's what we'll want. So we can... You can do it however you want. We'll do it like this. And this can sit here. And there's actually two spots. So you can put the other one, which is right here. Right there. Yeah. So. so like that. And so that, you guys. That'll kind of hold it in place. So if you have a friend, they can make it one time here. Yeah. And they can make it so here. you can put a template here and here. So it's kind of cool. And that's, that's the one we're going to make right here. That's the one we're going to make. Okay, and now we can show you how to use the pin. Here is our bead pin, and you'll want to push this button, and it'll come down here and dispense and fall down on the colors that we want. want. So, but you have to make sure it's like you can turn it like this, but make sure that the color is on the very bottom. So if you push it like this, you just push this. If you want the color to come out, that it will come out where you want it. Awesome. So this. And we'll just repeat this process until we get all the colors filled in here. Just like that. Maybe do some more. Meh. And yeah, if it falls out of place, just very gently, just use your hand to put it back in place. Okay guys, here's our pattern. And we went through and did this and we're making a little goldfish. And I think he's supposed to be inside the goldfish bowl or something. You can see his little black eye. <laughs> and I think the the blue, we used the gems for the blue, and that's the water. And the little goldfish is in there. And we used our pen to do this, and it dispenses it all on our pattern. So now we're going to get ready to use this. And this is our water pen, and the cap comes off. We use this to spray our water onto the goldfish and that's going to be our next process. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, here is our next process. Now we're going to spray the water. You can take the cap off the top and you want to line up the arrow kind of like that's where it's going to spray out at. So now we're going to spray on top of our design. On top of our goldfish, just make sure you get all over the beads really good spray it good get every bead that you can get and you want to make sure you get enough water on it is, it, is every bead watery I think we could put some more on that bead there on the very corner yeah there you go so we want to get them good and soaked in good we want to get them good and wet and soaky even on the orange part on the orange and black soak it in good it doesn't look like everywhere we're... yeah so did you put some on that mm -hmm. let's put some more wait a minute I think I think I see it it's got it's got water on it that's good that's so you want to make sure your beads 
are good and watered. There we go. Okay, we have our goldfish and it's upside down, it's drying. And then we made a custom design. I don't know, what does design did you make on this? I made a cat. So this is a kitty cat design. And I think the black here is like whiskers, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can do them however you want. But this is, and we just used one of the templates. Instead of like this, we flipped it over so it was a white background. So it would show good. So, okay, you can go ahead and spray it down good now. Remember, you want to get all the beads. Remember the point, the arrow on the dripper? Make sure the arrow is on there and then just get every bead wet all on the edges. Just all over this kitty cat. Most kitty cats don't like baths, but this one has to no matter what, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now look closely. Make sure it's all wet everywhere. I think over here on the edge it needs oh, to be yeah. wet good. You got to look everywhere and get it good and wet. And you can take the trays and they'll set up. They set up real good. So you gently set it up in the little groove here, like that. When you're done spraying it. Yeah. When you're done spraying it. And this will let the water drip down and, and let it dry good. So we're going to let it dry for about an hour. And we'll come back and take them off and show you how they're together. Sounds exciting, right? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Here we go. Here is the finished um, aqua beads that we have. And that is the goldfish one. And here is the custom one. That we made what do you think i think they turned out good and they, they started peeling by themselves like yeah they started curling up because we had them set up like that we had them set up and it looked like they was kind of curling but it's been over an hour so go ahead and peel them peel it up slowly though because we don't want it to break it, oh my so how's it look looks pretty cool huh it's still a little wet and, and you can see yeah and you could probably take like a uh, a napkin or a paper towel or something and dry it off but it's fine and we can see how it looks let's get really up close let's give you a, that looks really cool it does and it sparkles because nice. these most of these were made with gems yeah we have mostly gems in very here. cool and then we have the goldfish one. Let's peel it off. It's Easy. Sticky. Yeah, they're sticky because they're wet on the other side. Like it's still a little damp. And you can see. There's like slime on the edge. Yeah, the it's kind of slimy, but you could dry it off. And, mm -hmm. but it's very cool. So here's the goldfish one. And here is the kitty cat one. So, what do you guys think? What do you think? How, how did our aqua beads go? I think they look super cool, and I think you should definitely get this because it's super fun. But um, it did take a while for it to dry. Yeah, you have to be kind of patient, don't you? Yeah, but it's still fun because you can make your own. Like, you can, like, follow patterns, or you can make your own, like this one. So, I think, I think it's still fun, even though you have to wait. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, guys. There's our aqua beads. This is Toy Box saying thanks for watching our aqua beads. Over 1,200 beads in this kit, and we just had lots of fun. We had fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.